Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Living Outside the Box with Gray Square. If you're new, welcome to my channel. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a video. I'm not sure if a lot of people know this, but October is the month to bring awareness to pregnancy and infant loss. I know if you know me personally, or if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, you know that I've recently had a miscarriage back in March of this year. So the purpose of this video is to tell my miscarriage story and hopefully help someone else who is going through a miscarriage or has gone through one and is just turning to someone else. Um, I remember when I went through it, I watched everyone's miscarriage story and so it definitely helped me knowing that I wasn't alone, that this is completely common, like that a lot of pregnancies do end up in miscarriage. So it's good that there is a month that brings awareness to this because sometimes, like I remember with my chemical pregnancy, which I'll speak a little bit about in the beginning um, in this video, uh, I remember feeling like, what is wrong with me? Like I feel less of a woman. And no one should feel like that, especially if it's completely common and we just all need to like make sure, like if you know that someone's going through it, make sure you're there for them. Just be completely supportive. Like everyone has their own way. Like I just wanted to be around friends and my family and just like have positive energy around me after it so, so my story was that um i remember in january i went to korean barbecue with my best friends and my friend bridget shout outs to santa um she was like yeah you guys are gonna be next like i have a feeling that gray you're gonna get pregnant really soon and i was just like what <laughs> And so the next day, legit the next day, I thought I started my period. And it was like, I had like a, by the way guys, this video might have a little bit of TMI information. So if you can't handle like super detailed, bloody talk, then I wouldn't watch it. But okay, so going back, I had like a weird, like kind of, bloody but it was like a sticky mucus and it wasn't my period and so the next day and I told my husband I was like this is weird like this is like I'm supposed to start my period but I haven't had my period and so I just got um two pregnancy tests and I took one and immediately that that blue line was super bold and I was like what okay. so rewinding to two years before that I did have um, a chemical pregnancy and um, so a chemical pregnancy is when your egg is fertilized but it doesn't stick on your uterus on your uterine lining and um, so that was like maybe a year after we were married um, and we were so excited and you know we told everyone and we just knew like this baby like we're gonna start our family and so um, with a chemical pregnancy, it's not like a normal miscarriage. Like I just started bleeding four weeks after, or like actually two weeks after I found out I was pregnant. So with a chemical pregnancy, it's not like, oh, it sounds weird to say it's not a real pregnancy because you are pregnant. But um, the doctor just told me you know like you're gonna you're gonna just like have your regular period and you just won't be pregnant anymore so I was devastated like you know like a year into your marriage and being with someone for I think we were together for like five years at the time we were ready to start our family and so it was very devastating but I will say that this go round was even harder after I found out that I was pregnant I made my appointment for my first ultrasound and um, by the they go by the date of your last period so I think my last period was like December 15th and so at that time in January I was about five weeks so the doctor was like hey 
don't come in yet like it's too early um to do an ultrasound but come in next week but when the doctor told me he couldn't see me for another week i was just like like i'm very i'm not the most patient person me being that i already had a miscarriage with my chemical pregnancy i was paranoid like i was like always checking um to see if i was bleeding or not and I was getting really anxious and I kept buying pregnancy tests to make sure that I was still pregnant. So I was super nervous for my first ultrasound with this pregnancy. Um, so it was, I was at six weeks and that was determined by my last period. So I remember just like just being super nervous and super anxious but at the same time really excited. Like I just knew I was going to hear a heartbeat. When they were doing the ultrasound, they were like, um, baby A is measuring this amount. And I remember just, I was like, I don't know, I felt like I was just so anxious and excited. I was like, did she really just say baby A? And I remember looking to my husband like, baby A? If there's a baby A, that means there's a baby B, which means that there's more than one baby. And so she was like, baby A is measure, measuring at this, at, I think at the time it was like four and a half weeks. And then she was like, baby B. And then I was just like, I had to stop her. I was like, are there twins in there? And she was like, yes, you're pregnant with twins. Twins. And so I was just like, I was already excited and nervous. And I was just like, what? <laughs> I couldn't believe it. So baby B was measuring at about, I think it was also four, four and a half weeks. So they were really, really small. And she was like, so that's the good news that you have twins. The bad news is that they don't have heartbeats. And so that's when I was just like devastated. I was just completely nervous. And I was just like, I have so many questions like, why don't they have heartbeats like what does that mean like do they still have hope and the doctor was just kind of really upfront with me and was like um they're measuring really small i don't think they're gonna make it um but you know come back next week and so i was just completely heartbroken i was I just couldn't believe that one, I was pregnant with twins and two, that they didn't have heartbeats. And I remember just just crying for, for like days. And I had just started a new job and I, I called off. I was like, I don't, I don't wanna talk to anyone. I don't wanna do anything like until I know that these babies have heartbeats. So I mean, <laughs> Luck, luckily for me, like my friends and family, they were so supportive. My husband was so supportive. Everyone was like, just wait till that next ultrasound. You're going to hear a heartbeat. Just continue to be positive. But I'm crazy and I kept Googling everything. And I kept reading things like at by three weeks, your baby should have a strong heartbeat or at least like a little bit of flickering. And I remember baby A, they saw, they saw something. And so they were like, um, baby A looks more prone to survive. And then I was researching things about one twin eating another twin or like one twin absorbing the other twin's body. Like I was going crazy. I was doing my own research, which was probably the worst thing to do, but I couldn't help it. So, um... The next day, actually the next week, the doctor called me and said, you know, I don't want you to come into this ultrasound appointment. I want to wait because I still think it's a little too early. He said that I've seen situations with twins that sometimes it takes longer for their hearts to develop because there's two of them in there. And then at the same time, I was doing my research and finding a different doctor because I just, I just wanted a different, like I wanted another ultrasound like that, that next week. I was becoming very impatient. Like 
if you're going through this, I do recommend just trying your hardest to be patient. Do not turn to Google for everything because it will drive you crazy. So I did get another doctor and two weeks later I was at six weeks and um, it was actually on Valentine's Day which is my husband and I's seventh year anniversary um, of knowing of dating and I remember I was just like I just know on Valentine's Day I'm gonna hear a heartbeat like this day is full of love full of hearts and I just knew that I was gonna hear a heartbeat and so to the doc to the new doctor's ultrasound and um, they still didn't have a heartbeat and that was like I had lost all hope at that time it was it was really hard and so I was asking the doctor what's the next step like what do I do and he re recommended a DNC which is like a surgical procedure to remove the infants um, or another thing was to naturally miscarry at the time I wanted to miscarriage naturally just because I felt like there was still a little bit of hope and I had another doctor's appointment that next week so I felt like okay maybe they're just being stubborn I hadn't lost like complete hope and I remember telling my husband like we just need to decide like do we want to be patient and do it naturally or do I want to get the procedure because I was afraid that I was going to get an infection so the doctor was like hey you know think it over like you don't have to make your decision right now and I wanted to have a normal miscarriage just so I because I still had hope and I just felt like it was more of a natural process and I felt like mentally it would be more of a healing process into letting go I know that sounds a little crazy but everyone deals with things differently this was at about the end of February um, I still hadn't miscarried and I was taking cinnamon pills I was eating papaya y'all I was so sick of eating papaya like oh let me turn that on I was just like kind of getting weird like you know like in your mind you think you I have dead babies inside of me and I was trying not to think of it like that and then like me and my friends would joke around oh these babies are so stubborn like they don't want to leave you and so we made an appointment for a DNC and I remember just sitting there just thinking like you know this is probably best right now just to get it over with and start over fresh and try again like in a couple months and the doctor took my blood and the doctor was like um you know that you're RH negative and um, I remember my last pregnancy they mentioned that I had RH negative but didn't mention anything of like how that can affect future pregnancies so when he was telling me that he was like you know your miscarriage is probably because you're um, your RH negative and I was just like how does that even like like can you please explain how that like can affect it and he's like your last miscarriage they didn't offer you a Rogam shot and I was like no and he was just completely shocked he was like what like you're supposed to get that because um you may be sensitized your um, antibodies can attack a future pregnancy which is probably what happened with this pregnancy and I was just like mind blown one I was just like why didn't my doctor offer that the last time so I wouldn't have to go through this he said that's what probably happened with this pregnancy antibodies probably thought that the twins were something foreign something that shouldn't be in my body and they attacked them and he's like it's completely common and he was like do you want the rogam shot i said please please do it right now because i never want to go through this again and so i got the shot it was a 
pretty big needle and I was just kind of shocked that this hadn't been offered to me before and I'm also surprised that I last miscarriage I didn't do the research myself so I was kind of being really hard on myself and um, he was like I don't he's like do you do you really want to do the DNC today and I was like no I'm sorry I rather um, do it naturally and I love my doctor he was like okay good because I I want you to do it naturally he's like it's there's less to less effects and he's like I know mentally right now it might be best for you to just do it naturally so this was the end of February and I went back home and I continued eating my papaya and taking my cinnamon pills and I was just kind of just shocked by it all. I was shocked that I didn't go through with the procedure. I was shocked that um, no one offered me a Rogam before. And I was shocked that my blood type has this effect on my pregnancy. So I was starting to heal a little mentally by the beginning of March. Like my our favorite cousin came in town we were starting to go out again um i still felt weird drinking because i i wasn't pregnant but i still had the twins in me so i was just like this is weird i don't want to be drinking so like i would order like maybe a glass of wine every now and then and um i remember this one evening i started cramping up i remember this one evening i started feeling like a sharp pain on my left side and it felt like I don't get cramps for my period like I've never like my periods are usually one and done no cramps thank god but I heard I'll probably have a tough pregnancy but um I remember feeling the sharp pain and I told my husband I think it's gonna happen now I just knew that it was about to happen so I remember running to the bathroom and just I f I felt something and I looked in the toilet and I saw like two sacks right next to each other and it was just really weird because they were so small and I was just like I don't want to flush my kids down like this is just really a weird experience so I just prayed and I flushed and then I just started bleeding like crazy like I was just standing in the shower just like legit blood just gushing out of me like I was urinating but it was blood it was just constant just blood coming out of me and it was it was very painful um, I know I can't really tolerate physical pain but this was really painful um, and then I remember just like the next day I called off sick I was like there's no way that I can go to work like this I continued to bleed really heavy for like about three or four days after. I felt a little more at peace and in a better headspace. Like the weekend after it happened, my best friend and her husband were coming in town. So like I definitely recommend like after this happens, and it's weird to say life goes on, but it does. Like you need to continue to be around people and surround yourself around positive people and just kind of like find your normal again and the month after um, I was like reading up because I was still being crazy and googling everything like how's your body gonna be after a miscarriage and I remember um, the month after my first period was really really heavy like actually we were in Cancun and I remember I just had to get out of the pool because I just felt like like it was happening again and I just looked down in the pool and saw a little bit of blood sorry guys this is TMI and I was just like babe we gotta go and I was just like not you my doctor didn't really want me to use tampons he's just like you know for right now continue to use pads which I hate pads that's I mean it's better than diapers but still um and I just remember saying like, it, like, is this the second twin finally coming out? 
but no, the doctor confirmed that, like, I'm done. I also started doing um, acupuncture for fertility. And after you have a miscarriage, sometimes you feel like you've lost all hope, but it's important to remember, like, everything happens for a reason, and you once again, like that baby will come back to you. And I know that these twins are gonna come back to me at the perfect time. Um, like I always say, they probably want their parents to go on more adventures. And a lot of people have been asking like, are you gonna try again soon? And um, actually we're really open to trying again. So that was my miss miscarriage story. Um, I hope this reaches out to someone who went through exactly what I went through and finds strength and hope that one day that you will be a mom and just be positive and if anyone has any questions feel free to message me i'm so open to talking about anything if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to more life stories i would love to help anyone who's going through it bye next time on living outside the box with gray square it's pointy. Yo, this looks like the turd emoji. <laughs> it's hip to be square.